I mean, we're always excited the time that Kelly comes in as well. You know, good-looking pup. Yes. Yeah. We're all she sort of. So yeah, we're all sort of um, just just noticing that her paws are a little different. Little different colors yes. on there. She's up for adoption, by the way. Why don't you tell us about her? So she goes up for adoption today at noon at our Sharonville location. Her name's Kintuela, and she is nine months old. Her face is very puppy-like, so when she came in, we originally looked at her and thought, oh, three months. But her teeth tell a little different story, so we think she'll have that cute little puppy face for most of her life. Aww. She's not going to get very big, almost about full-grown at this point. Very, very sweet. She's what kind of a... She is, oh gosh, she is a mutt. So we think maybe some <laughs> beagle in there, maybe some chihuahua. She's a brown dog. Oh, <laughs> That's what she's, I say. She's a cute mutt. It's a nice blend. I yeah. know. <laughs> and her name, how pretty. Consuela. Consuela. Definitely. That's so $40 adoption fee and you can take her home today. All right, and you do something with your pets we have a great question about today. Yes, Joan from Westchester asks, what exactly is microchipping and is it really necessary? That's a good question. It really is because it's super necessary and where I work, we see this every day. So microchipping, it's um, a microchip about the size of a grain of rice and we insert it in between the shoulder blades <clears throat> underneath the skin, just like a shot. So it's used a syringe, it takes 30 seconds to do, in and out. Um, and it's permanent identification because it's going to be that one day that your dog is not wearing a collar that it's going to run out the door and end up at the shelter with us. We need to be able to call you. So with that microchip, we can use a handheld scanner, get that identification number, give you a call and say, hey, we have your pup or wow. we have your cat. And if more people did this, we would be able to return so many more pets. Is there a database like nationwide yet for those? Yes, or? so there's, yeah. there's different databases. Um, any adoptable dog or cat that we give to a family, they come with one already. Um, but if you do not have one, you can go to the vet. Mondays, we only charge $15. It takes, again, 30 seconds wow. to do, no appointment. Um, any other day of the week, it's $25. Or, I mean, if you feel more comfortable going to your vet, that's okay as well, but it's super important. Yeah, that's a great idea. And we'd love to hear from you. You can email Kelly your questions. Here's her address. It is to SPCA Cincinnati or info at SPCACincinnati.org. Kelly back in our next hour with some more great uh, adoptable dogs and kitties. Yes, we oh, got the kitty cats. Oh, there's some cute kitties. Josh, we'll toss it to you for